what is genetic algorithm and how we can apply this in reservoir operation. I am not going in detailed uh, modeling of genetic algorithm that I will give you an example in the afternoon for one hour how we have applied this genetic algorithm in uh, deriving operating rules for a single reservoir as well as multi reservoir system. Here I am going to introduce what are all the steps involved in uh, applying this genetic algorithms. Right? So, as an introduction, these genetic algorithms are classified as non traditional optimization because in previous optimization techniques, it is a well defined solution methodology, either it is decent gradient or it is traditional. That means we may end up in local optima also in previous cases because it is step by step running. We have seen one picture also. Whereas this genetic algorithm, it is a random search. We first a set of population will search here, another set will search there. It manually if you do all these things it will take lot of time instead of which we are using these computers. That means my solution search is random. I search here, 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 here and finally see which is the best solution. So that is why it is not only random search, it is probabilistic search also. Genetic algorithm is classified as non-traditional optimization or we can call that as machine learning or artificial intelligence technique or a soft computing technique. And this was introduced by John Holland in 1975. After that, uh, it has not gained much importance until uh, David Goldberg has written his book on genetic algorithm 1989. Until then, it was like an hidden. After 89, it picked up. Right? For, for the past 10 years, 10 to 15 years, we are having tremendous application of genetic algorithm in various fields of optimization. And it works on the principles of genetics. You know what is meant by genetics. We have to modify the genes. Right? Like it all started from uh, uh, our uh, hybrid varieties. We have now hybrid varieties of coconuts. That is genetically modified. We took the principle of this genetics. That means we take the best of best gene of one plant and best gene of another plant but both are in the same family and cross it. So you have the solution of best plant from these two parents and it works on the principles of Darwin's theory of survival of the fittest. Whichever is grows robust that will be the best plant. Right? So genetic algorithms are computerized search optimization algorithms based on natural genetics and natural selection. And these are all some of the common norms between mathematical terminology and its equivalent biological terminology. We say a parameter in mathematics then which is equal to a gene in my GA. And a set of parameters that is not set of gene, we call that as a chromosome. Here it is objective function, there it is a fitness function. Objective function if I say in my mathematics, in GA it is a fitness. If I say the population of individuals, we say that set of solutions. This is just a comparison, there are large number of comparisons also. These are all the five important steps we have to follow in GA. First one is coding, then fitness function evaluation, then select the parent, then cross the parent to get an child, then do the mutation for the child and this child in terms will again become as a parent. It is this simple technique is arrived. I, I can give you a good example of this coconut trees. Now we all drink this coconut of hybrid varieties, right? They are all genetically, we can say that they are all inbreed or biologically modified hybrid varieties. We had two varieties of coconut trees. One is long variety, another one is short varieties. This long variety coconut tree which grows very tall, 
and which start yielding the nut from the year of 10 and this nut will be small in size coconut will be small in size whereas the material inside which produces the coconut oil will be very thick and you will have large quantity of oil that is what traditionally we used to grow in coastal areas and many places there is an another variety which is called short variety which grows in coastal areas of Andaman and Nicobar and many places it grows and this long variety it will there in the field for 100 years whereas the another variety which will not grow very tall it will go very short which will not yield or it start yielding in the third year of its growth but you will not have the shell the nut inside will never have an oil content it, it will it, even if you leave the coconut throughout its life in the tree it will never produce the nut inside it can be used as only a tender nut to drink the water so people have crossed the best genes which produces this oil shell everything of this long variety and they took the genes of this short variety which produces this better large size and it was matched and these two matched flowers are become are being grown in some trees some same variety to become a coconut and that is the child and this child is again grown not only one they do the sampling and this child which has derived from these two varieties will have the good characteristics of long variety as well as short variety now the final output what we are having in coconut is the coconut start yielding now hybrid in five years you will have large size shells if you harvest it within six months or seven months of the uh, formation you will have a large amount of water you can use it as a tender net if you leave it in the plant for longer time period then that's, that will be converted into a full nut where you will have large quantity of oil extraction so this same technique we have applied it in optimization right that is called coding fitness crossover selection crossover and mutation now we will see what is coding but in mathematics machine initially we thought we, it is only binary coding now we, there are so many varieties i am giving you only fundamental g there are so many methods of coding now. Now we are doing real coded genetic algorithm. We are doing messy genetic algorithm. But I am just giving the simple coding. Earlier we thought that machine will understand only 0 or 1. So each chromosome is coded in binary bits of either 0 or 1 which represents the potential solution. See in the main difference between my conventional optimization and the genetic algorithm is there I search in the solution space or using my solving the set of equations but here I search in the solution space itself I know what is my upper boundary and what is my lower boundary I pick up so many values and try to fit it in my objective function constraint and see these are all working or not so some people still question whether it is optimization but it is still optimization that means in that case we do the optimization stepwise mathematically the strong uh, relationship between one step of problem solution to another set here it is only a search technique many people say that GA is a search technique rather than an optimization technique but uh, it gives the best solution even uh, conventional dynamic programming may not produce that is why we still say that as a optimization technique also. So these chromosomes are coded into binary set of 0 and 1 which represents a potential solution. That means I, I never decode an equation of objective function or constraints. It is the solution itself I am decoding. Right? My, I am decoding my solution. So each variable, that is why you know, that is output variable can be coded to a specified length and this length 0 1 0 1 0 1 or 1 1 1 it depends upon the upper and lower limit of my variable I can have so much of 0 1 0 1 0 1 in my computer but that is not required because my solution space should have some boundaries and these boundaries are nothing but our constraints so I cannot code this 0 1 0 1 to the required length 
I can specify this only based upon the minimum and maximum value of my variable. That means suppose if my I have a variable x which varies in between 0 to 50 then I, I should not have a value in my solution which has the x is more than 100. Right? So, I have to cut down my solution space that can be done only by the specified length and this is a simple relationship between the length and accuracy. Suppose if I need 100 percent accurate result then my length will be larger. If I need 50 percent then my length will be smaller and the a i and b i are the minimum and the maximum value my variable can take. Since it is binary coded we are putting it 2 to the power of l. So, this alpha is the required accuracy or probability of error. So, a i minus b i 10 to the power of alpha should be less than or equal to 2 l 2 to the power of l minus l where l is the length of the string each string represent one variable. Suppose if I have two variables in my objective function y is equal to x1 plus x2 then x1 can be one length x2 can be another length but I decode x1 separately x2 separately and make it as a single strength right. So, that is why here this is two variables x1 and x2 but in solution searching the solution I consider this as a single string not a separate string. So, all the substrings, substrings means various variables are then concatenated together to form a single string. So, the another objective here is I no need to solve my constraint. All my constraints I can consider it as in my objective function itself. So, that is why GA we do mostly a non-constrained optimization technique. We can convert our problem into a non-constrained optimization technique. For example, maximizing z is equal to f of x subjected to so many g of x is the constraint. That is where we do traditionally. In optimization in g a what I can do is I can do maximize z is equal to f of x plus or minus with a penalty function and put my g of x. So, I do not have any constraints, I have only one solution to be solved or only one equation to be solved. So, once I do the decoding, the second method or second step is find out the fitness function. Since we know how to evaluate the fitness function, suppose if I have 1 0 0 1. So, this is equal to 2 power 0. So, that means it is 1 into 2 power 4 o whatever I get that is the value of this x 1 right that is how we decode it and put it in my objective function and find out what is my fitness value of the objective function that we will do an example now right and then you evaluate the string since I am generating so many population for each and every solution we have to find out that is the second one. Then third step is select. Now I have got a initial solution of 10 or 20 depending upon my population which one is working better. I cannot select randomly that has to be selected based upon some probability that probability is how much that solution constitutes in your solution space that based upon that probability we select the best solution in the first thing. Once we select the best population the remaining population are weak solutions that can be discarded. So, the best population you can make a copy of it so that the population remains the same right and we call this process of fitness function evaluation and selection combinedly as a reproduction processes. So, once we have selected the best solution they are the parents. Now, you have to produce a child. 
for producing this new offspring you have to do the crossover that means select two parents select the best chromosome of this parent and select the best chromosome of second parent and then cross it or exchange it during this exchange we don't know which child is better and which child is worser and there are so many ways of exchanging these chromosomes how many chromosomes to be exchanged that is not deterministic that chromosomes exchange is also selected randomly there are three important ways or there are many ways the three important is single point crossover two point crossover and uniform crossover this is an example where i have to cross my parent the first line is one pair this is one parent and this is another parent so ra randomly i selected that i have to cross at this point that means whatever the chromosomes after this i exchange with this parent and whatever the chromosomes here i have exchanged with this parent so my new offspring is like this so this offspring has the characteristic of both the parents and this is also having characteristic of both the parents then suppose if i select for a two point crossover if my string length is small i can go in for one point crossover if my string string length is longer i can go in for two point crossover that means the point at which i have to select or i have to cross that is also selected randomly suppose if i have 10 parents that means i can have five pairs if i do two point crossover for each parents it is not necessarily at the third point it also depends upon random for two, one parent it may be at first for next parent it may be at the eighth for next parent it may be at the sixth that is also selected randomly then only you will achieve the solution at a faster rate rather than if you have two point crossover three for all the parents then it takes longer time for you to achieve the solution so here this is an uh, first parent this is a second parent if i do two point crossover then i have exchanged this with this and this with that or this one so i have this is the new offspring but this exchange chromosome should be same suppose if i exchange the first and last that should be same for next pair also for the next pair don't exchange only the in between so the two point crossover at what point you have to exchange that is same but at what point you cross that is probability that is two point crossover suppose if my string length is too large 50 by 50 binary 150 because this length depends upon number of variables and also its minimum value and maximum value then i i will have large number of string length in that such cases even two point crossover also will take longer time in such places we will go for uniform crossover that means suppose if i have 50 chromosomes at each and every second point i exchange this is what very common in our water resources right so normally we we take this crossing point is equal to our variable single variable length so i exchange the alternative this thing so this is uniform crossover then next step is once i do the crossover i have a new set of solution so new set of solution once i have a new set of solution i do an another operation that is called mutation with very very low probability that means mutation is is the character physically it is the character which a child possesses and both the parents does not possess that is the mutation physical meaning so that means we make only one gene exchange it which is not there either with the parent or with the child with the both the parents so there are many ways uniform non uniform or modified normally in water resources we apply for this modified mutation modified mutation means you fit the value into your fitness value and you have x one value you do a small modification if this modification improves that value then you keep the modification if your mutation does not change your fitness value or better solution you don't keep your mutation so that is called unif uh, modified mutation is this is the next uh, method we apply in ga operation then once we have this new solution then 
the solution repeats the same child will become you have to decode it find out what is the again fitness function definitely this new child will give you a better solution than the parents right and this is an approximate relationship now we are taking fixed number of parents isn't it how many parents that is called population how many solution space i have to take that may be depends upon the intuition or it may depends upon your problem size or you can do a sensitivity analysis initially you take 25 as the population then go on changing this population this is an approximate relationship between the population size and length of the string if your length of the string is very large you need a large number of population for mixing it thoroughly if i have 100 chromosomes and i have only two population then it takes longer time for me to mix it if i have 100 chromosomes and 100 population then very easily the chromosomes can get mixed up so the population size and the length of the string is related so these are all some of the applications of gi in water resources people have extensively used it in pipe network analysis starting from simple ga messy ga then so many other forms of genetic algorithm and the second place where it has extensively used is in groundwater management problem right we might have heard it from professor eldo also both quantity and quality instead of developing a finite difference model couple it with uh, uh, remote sensing gis find out what is the optimal quantity you just you can simple you can use simply the genetic algorithm to find out the optimal quantity of extraction or optimal quantity of recharge which will maximize your benefits or minimize the cost this work is also extensively used and very less work has been done on reservoir operation it papers are available large quantity but uh, we are also restricted with the comparing with conventional technique we say that this technique is better only when we do it, it with a conventional modeling people have done for reservoir operation in these places single reservoir single purpose multi purpose single reservoir multi reservoir system multi reservoir multi purpose reservoir system these are all the places where people have applied genetic algorithm this is my sample problem which i can done which i can do using simple calculator right let us consider an objective function maximizing f of x equal to <coughs> x square minus x i have one constraint that my x varies between 0 to 31 now let us do this using hand calculation the population are generated randomly i can generate population also i can toss a coin if it is tail uh, either zero i can test if it is head one how many times i have to toss to consider my one parent right that depends upon the minimum and the maximum value of my chromosome suppose if i consider all the chromosomes 1 1 right so this is equal to 1 into 2 power 4 plus 1 into how much this is anyway this is all are equal to 0 0 into 2 power 4 this value is 0 that means my first if i have all my chromosomes are 0 my variable value is also equal to 0 if i have all the chromosomes positive 1 1 1 my my x value will be equal to how much so this is 1 2 plus so the maximum length i can have is only 5 suppose if i have one more then this will become 2 power 5 1 then this will become 1 into 2 power 5 this is greater than 31 but as per my constraint my x should be less than 31 length of the chromosome substring depends upon my minimum and the maximum values suppose if i have two variables x1 and x2 
then if I have one more x2 value, I again find out what is that substring length and then add up here. Then when I am doing my program, I have to keep in mind that first 5 gene represents x1, remaining second 5 gene represent x2. Since here it is only single variable, I consider like this. And this number of population also, it depends how many population I have to select. So initially for hand calculation, I we have selected only a 4 population. That means I have to select a string of 5 genes of 4 population. So I have to toss my coin 20 times. Right? So this is randomly selected. It is not determined. 0, 1, 1. So toss 5 times, that is 1 population. Toss next time 5 times, that is second population. So if you have to toss 20 times, you will get this initial population. Please remember, you can have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and find your x is 31. That is not objective to explain here. Here, if I have n number of x's, I cannot have. Each x will have different constraints. So if I have this one, I have selected like this. Now you find out what is the fitness value for each one. This is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. That means this is 0. This is not there. The first population is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So my first value is So that is fitness function evaluation. The next two columns is called fitness function evaluation. First column is the initial population. So I, I, I have decoded it, fit it into my objective function. My objective function is x square minus x. So x value is 13. So it is 13 square minus x, which is 13 square minus 13. It is 156. So like that you do for all the population. Do for all the population. This is my fitness value. Find out what is the total for this population. Find the average. Find the maximum. Now, for each and every population, find out what is the probability that that particular solution is there in my search space. That means this 14.1 is equal to 156 by 1106. That means out of total, pop, total solution of 1106, this 156 is only 14%. Suppose this value may vary if I have 20. If I have 20 population, this percentage may vary. That we don't know. If you want to, you can check it up. So in this 4 population, this constitutes 14%. This 552 constitute almost 50%. 56 is only 5%. 344 is 30%. Now, this is probability of selection. Now this selected values, if I take the total, it is 100%. Right? And then the average is 20. Suppose if I have 8 population, then average will be 100 by 8. That means each solution represents only that much percentage in my solution space. Then maximum is 49%. Then this is the expected count. That means the total divided by the average value. That is 156 divided by 276.5. The first one is probability of selection is F divided by the total. F select or expected count is each value divided by the average. So it is 156 by 276.5 is only 0 0.56. Then 552 divided by 276 that is more than 2 or equal to 1.99. 56 divided by 276 is 0.21. 342 divided by 276 is 1.24. So that means the expected count, how many times or what is the weightage of my each and every solution. It is not only the probability, it also depends upon the expected count. This is the probability this solution is in my solution space. And suppose this is the expected count. Actually, this second solution should have been taken twice. So, uh, if I do this rounding, this is more than 0 0.5. That means this solution, uh, this parent, we can take as one good parent. And this solution, 
I have to take it as a two parent. And this is a weak parent, I have to discard it. And this is the solution, this is the parent, even though it is more than one, still it can be considered only one. So if I do this total, the total remains the same. So that means the better solution is repeated and the worst solution is discarded. That is what the survey of fittest is. So now this is my first population. Now second population, that means I have a parent, this is my solution, this is not my required objective. My objective function is something different. So here there are four parents, so there are two possible pairs. As per random, the first parent is randomly assumed to be crossed with two and the third parent is assumed to be crossed with four. This is also random selection. Similarly, I assumed a single point crossover. At what point I have to cross with the parent, that is also random. So the first parent I am crossing at first point after the last. For the second parent I am crossing at third point from the last. Even though it is single point, that is also random. So after crossing, this is my the new population. So this step, this column, is equal to this column for the next next generation has come so the next generation again we have to repeat the process find out what is the value of x decode it fit it in the objective function find out what is its selection what is its probability of count but before going into your fitness function you can do a mutation i have not done mutation here because we have to keep the probability of mutation as low as possible in genetic algorithm whereas in genetic programming it is as high as prob possible because uh, physically we are doing the optimization from one generation to another generation in genetic algorithm whereas in genetic programming the program itself evolve that means the child itself learns a lot that means there is large probability of mutation in genetic programming less problem of less probability of mutation in genetic algorithm that is why if you see any software even if you give as less as possible percentage of mutation in genetic programming the software itself will take 0 0.95 is the probability of mutation in genetic programming whereas in ga it is 0 0.05 0 0.01 you have to keep as low as possible because we assume that the best result is obtained from one generation to another generation whereas in GP it is in the same generation. So before going to that I, I have not done any mutation then I repeated the process. When you see the fitness values you see this the previous value the total is 1106 average and maximum. Here you see the average has improved also maximum has improved that means my program is improving. Not necessary that my program has to improve it may be lower than that. We don't know that. We will come to know whether that is better or not only after doing the second one. So definitely if you have selected the randomness randomly, population everything correct, this will be an improving one. Then you can repeat it n number of times. How many times I have to repeat this? We, somewhere you have to stop it. You can go on improving this. But based on the termination criteria is based on the desired objective function or if more than two iteration of the objective function values are same. Suppose if my first uh, iteration, my objective function is 50. Second iteration is also 50. Third iteration is also 50. Fourth iteration also 50. My fitness value, average and uh, this value. Then we can say that my solution space has been obtained. If this has not obtained, if I don't have that one, then I can consider number of generation. Okay, I don't want to go a solution more than 50 generation, 60 generation. That may also be a termination criteria, right? And another important thing what we have to do is in genetic algorithm is we have to do the parameter optimization. You, you have to start with an initial population depending upon the assumed length, assumed population, all these things. How will you know that the assumed population is sufficient? Then you have to do a sensitivity analysis. Keep everything constant, that is probability of crossover, probability of mutation, everything 
initial then increase the number of population and see how your objective function values increases after some time period it will become a constant then that is the optimal number of population you have to use once you have find out that optimal population now you go on increasing your probability of crossover from minimum to maximum for initial search you may have selected 0.6 as the probability of crossover then you start from 0.3 go on increasing 0 0.2 0 0.35 0 0.4 0 0.45 like that find out how your objective function values increase there will be one probability of crossover at which your objective function is maximum that is can be done as a sensitivity analysis that is called parameter estimation in ga once you fix this probability of crossover take that best population best probability of crossover you change the probability of mutation find out which is the best similarly next step is with that best values of population crossover and mutation you go on increasing the number of generation find out at which generation you have a better solution or the solution remains constant these are all the advantages of ga model uh, ga typically uses a coding of the decision variable and not the decision variable itself the ga searches from the population of decision variable not a single decision variable set ga uses the objective function itself and not the derivatives whereas in other optimization techniques we use the derivative of your objective function the ga algorithm uses the probabilistic search rules a random search and ga can takes care of stochasticity also ga does not require discretization of state variables no curse of dimensionality problem in ga it's very easy to solve ga also ga does not require transition probabilities ga does not have curse of dimensionality GA model results in optimal or near optimal solutions that is guaranteed whereas in other techniques it is not guaranteed particularly LP we cannot guarantee LP it is not guaranteed that your solution is optimal solutions global even though GA is lot of advantages it has still some of the advantages like it cannot handle large number of constraints like LP which LP can handle 2000 constraint 3000 constraints we have written our own software which can uh, handle 2000 constraints in LP just a simple beta project every iteration need objective function evaluation so every iteration I have to decode it find out the fitness value which is not required in our conventional optimization techniques very difficult to handle the mutations okay still GA models provide better solution than the conventional optimization techniques in developing reservoir operating rules that I will show you a case study in the afternoon for a single reservoir as well as a multi reservoir system these two books are very good if you want to work on GA one is by Goldberg in 1989 genetic algorithm in search optimization and machine learning second book is our professor from IIT Kanpur Kalyan Moy Deb optimization for engineering design who is student of Goldberg Optimization for Engineering Design Algorithms and Example, Printis Hall of India, Private Limited Neutral. These two books are very good if you want to start with GA. Fundamental, it starts from fundamental. Okay, I will stop it here.